ברוך השם יבוא אלוהינו, מלך העולם. I come before you in the Shem of Yeshua Mashiach. We welcome you to Eagles Haven Ministry and EaglesHavenMinistry.com channel. And we're coming to you live from the upper room in Plano, Texas. And we're just uh, kind of having some fun here. We're we having some great testimonies this year, all, all this Shabbat. And I have some great family with us this year. I have my brother and the Yahoo and sister Kimya here. Oh, that's right. You you recognize the face of the man, but do you recognize his better half? <laughs> my wool man. His this, wool man. This is my wool man. <laughs> help me. <laughs> help me. I am the help me. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna let her talk. <laughs> <laughs> so we we thought we want to give you a testimony, a little bit of their insight. Because people have asked and. They want to know more about him, and and they didn't know he had a better half. So, uh, how you doing, my brother and sister? Shalom, shalom. shalom, shalom. It's good to have you, and welcome to Eagles Haven and Habra Eliyahu Channel. And uh, you guys have a fantastic testimony. Not only the testimony of you coming together, getting married in Yahuwah, and coming getting married under ketubah matter of fact that that is a testimony all by itself right we probably could do a, a ketubah marriage to testify right and you you have an hour and a half by itself of the experiences you went to get married under ketubah but but today we're just going to share a little bit uh first thing person i'm going to ask is i'm going to go to your lovely wife first sister kimya uh sister kimya uh, we 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 have been friends. We've gone way back to the old charismatic uh, Christian community evangelistic uh, fleecer days. Right. <laughs> and uh, the Cersei. Yeah, the Cersei's. Uh, our our dear Cersei. sister was a producer director at World Evangelism, and also she was very high in rank, working also with. Uh, we don't even want to say his yeah, name. Yeah. It, it's kind of embarrassing, you know. But it, it yeah. shows where we came out of, right? Yeah. And I just wanted to ask you, a, 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 ask you some questions. Um, when did you start? Because we met, you know, we were you were with my wife. We met, and, and right. you know, we were world evangelism. But when did you start to click to the Father's true name and the Son's true name? Um, Two thousand and eight. Yeah, 2008, I did a class on praise and worship. Okay. And I was researching the names and, and words and came across in Hebrew, Hallel, Hallelujah, Yah, Yahweh, you know, the, the Hebrew terminology started to come alive to me when I was researching for that praise and worship class. And um, yeah, so I was just really stirred. And then uh, another incident around that time is I wasn't feeling well. And I had someone, a friend of mine named Susan, she, I said, you know, I'm really not feeling good. And she says, come on, come in this room. I'm going to pray for you. And we sat down and she just began this prayer of healing. And she ended it in the name of Yahushua Hamashiach. And I just, everything within me came alive. And I looked at her and I said, what? Who? <laughs> and I said, I receive it. I said, I don't. That's the first time I've heard that name, you know, and she's with like the Messiah with authority yeah. and power. And um, and I felt immediately better. But I was so thrilled that she, to hear the name, my spirit left within me to hear that name. So. After that, so the praise and worship class, then having that encounter, and where just, was this at? That was actually at one of the ministries, the ministry that I was at for seven years, and it was it's an internet, it was an international ministry. This person's on like BET and Word, and um, and I was working as the office manager at that time. But I would sit in the pastoral meetings, you know, with the, with the pastors and managers and. Just watching and seeing everything behind the scenes, I would just sit sometimes and be like, wow, these are pastors? These are supposed to be your people? Like all of the bickering and all of the, all of the competitiveness and all of the things you see that you wouldn't expect. I had such high ideals for like ministry and what it was supposed to be like. And so 
I just kept saying at that point, there has to be more. There has to be more of you. I, I want more because I really wanted righteousness. I was thirsting after righteousness. And that was really what had propelled me into wanting to even be in ministry. So all of these things were coming together. So that was happening. I would, one, um, one first day, you know, I was going on Sunday, of course, and, and the father just sitting there in the chair, the father said, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? Is this what you want? This is not the day I've called you to worship me. And no, from that you point, grew up uh, keeping uh, the Ten Commandments right. and also the seventh yom. Yep. Yeah, exactly. And he said, you know that this is not the day you should be worshiping. So you should go back to the Sabbath. Day, so. I grew up as, yeah, Seventh-day Adventist. My father's, yeah, Seventh-day Adventist. So I knew about the Sabbath. And even as a young child, it meant a lot to me, you know. Um, then to do it. it worship meant a lot in our household at the time but yeah so there are a combination of things kind of like I felt like the father was confirming things and and he just knew I really wanted to know the truth and I was crying out and praying for the truth so if that's where you are in your life too the father is so trustworthy Yahuwah is so trustworthy that all you have to do is ask he's so willing to to meet you and to to give you the answers that you want so that's uh, yeah so that was about 2008 and then um, a few things happened like it, it was wasn't until about 2010 uh, before I actually completely left and no, just met, abandoned we, everything we but met in um, 2009 we casually met through world evangelism right and you were right. I, I think ministry. I saw you in one of the offices over here in Texas in the beginning and then you transferred to San Diego I went back and forth. Okay. I was traveling back and forth. I was actually in the Texas office, and I would just travel for the tapings to San Diego. Right. Yeah. And then I, I took notice of you, my wife and I, when you were uh, producer director for the, the assistant program. Ass assistant yeah. program director. Okay, when they were doing the CBS uh, mm -hmm. program for World Evangelism. Uh, we don't want to say people's names, so we're just yeah. telling you a little bit and the people there mm -hmm. listening on the stream of these uh, particular ministries we used to work with. We're not proud to be a part of them no more, but we're, uh, we're kind of keeping it low key. But it is our testimony. We did come out of it and we did see behind the scenes much garbage, you know. And, um, and so now at World Evangelism, when you were there, what has started happening with you about the getting more into the name of the Father and the Son? Well, the Father began to strategically bring me across the path of people such as you and your lovely wife. And then we had other mutual friends that, and so we were all searching for the truth. Right. And, and we were all coming into the name. And so it was just a joy. Like that was really another catalyst and really after that, that was really, and then I, the father started giving me dreams, showing me, really warning me that if I stayed in it, it was gonna be terrible. It was gonna be terrible. So um, so I really heeded the dreams. I was thankful for the, the connections with you all. And then I just took a leap of immuna and I left it all. And up until that very last day, I had people like, are you really leaving like utterly shocked that because in you know in their mind it's like oh but you have a prestigious position and this and that and it's so not about that you know with Yahuwah he requires that immuna he's asking you to to teshuva to turn away from those things and reach for him in humility right. so and so I did. I left. I left now, it all and now, went to California. Can I, would, it, would it be too much for me to ask you how the father that day, I remember you were sharing your testimony one time when you were at, at Mr. M&M's and he was trying to tempt you with all this extra well, rages and stuff yeah. and, and you looking out the window or something. Tell us about that, well, that, that experience. It was, yeah, without going into too much detail, it was right. just, well, you know, just the just a mind play really you know do you not feel appreciated do you need this do you need that what can we do i think they were just like shocked that that i would actually leave. really leave but and then you know are you sure you heard from the father it's just the mental things of trying to keep you from but you know it's the father's will right. and the enemy's going to do that he's going to work through whoever he can 
you know, to do that. So, yeah, so there's, there was temptations, but it didn't matter. The Father had given me that dream. I was trusting in Him, and I just, I knew that He, everything He does, He requires us to, to show our immuni in Him. I had to, to go. I had to make that choice. So even if those things were there, He was looking for me to overcome. What, all what I was hearing in this year, just overcome it and make the decision to move forward in Him. And the same thing with meeting, you know, my husband. For him coming to, he was so Tobin coming to to get me because <laughs> he had to come from Texas Did to California. Did you forget my name? Is my name him? My husband. No, him. <laughs> Anaya. <Okay. laughs> my now, brother, now you you were uh, when now you had an experience too. To come into the Father's name before the Son's name, right, or vice versa. Yes, person. yeah. Explain well, to us. Well, um, let me see. When I first came into the name, I was a uh, minister at the at the at a church of God, which is really it used to be Assembly of God. But, anyways, make a long story short. Um, I had a friend of mine that came to work with me, and he was really a witness to me because um, he was keeping the Shabbat. And we were all going to work on, on, on the Shabbat. And he said, um, and um, you know, he, the day before that, he said, "Hey, I won't be coming in tomorrow." And I told him, "Why not, man? You know, you don't want to know overtime." And he was like, "No, no, I, I keep the Shabbat." I, and and I was like, "Wow, okay, you keep the Shabbat." And then he goes, he goes, uh, he goes, "Hey, I know you're because in the little town that I lived in, everybody knows everybody." So anyways, uh, he said, uh, uh, don't you know that it's that uh, that the Shabbat is one of the ten, that it's the fourth commandment? And we had a, a conversation along that line. And um, anyway, so when he said that, I felt, you know, I remember that the, the fourth commandment says to to honor, to guard the, the Shabbat. So anyways, the next day I went ahead and went to work anyways. And um, and so we were all sitting there at work at lunchtime and around the table and 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 um, a lot of the guys were kind of like laughing and making fun, you know. Hey, I never seen a redneck Jew before and stuff like that, you know, you know, because he was keeping the Shabbat and and, and my friend he was he, you know from Alabama. So, anyways, to make a long story short, um, when we were sitting there, you know, I kind of and I knew them guys, you know, because they even went to church with me, so. So we all went to church together. So I said, wait a minute, you know what? He might be right. I think he's right. I mean, we're sitting here, all of us, and we all know the word. And I mean, everybody there, you know, th these guys, I, I grew up as a Catholic to begin with. Just let me say that. These guys have been reading the word since they were kids. So a lot of these guys that live in these places like this, they know the word. They know the Bible. I mean, they, they can quote you uh, scripture way better than I can. You know, and, and, and anyways, so they, so I told him, don't you know, I told him like he told me, you know, don't you know what it says? You know what the fourth commandment is, you know, in, in Exodus chapter 20. And anyways, and so that, that made them be quiet right away because see, they, they, they got convicted also. And then, so um, anyways, from that point on, I began to do the Shabbat. But before that happened, I had an experience as I was driving to work. I used to work uh, at Fort Rucker. And um, uh, I'm an aircraft mechanic, but to make a long story short, I was on my way to Fort Rucker, on my way to work, and uh, and I, I begin and uh, I was listening to a Chris Tomlin song about uh, Yahweh. And anyways, even though we know that that's not the correct name now, but anyways, the name of Yah it, it was was what I was holding on to. When I heard that, then I was like, I, I just it just it just hit me. You know that wow the father has a name and i pulled over and i began to to weep and just say father forgive me for uh you know calling you god and calling you other names you know, i did that within myself i don't know where that came from i, I guess it was the the, the the ruah within me witnessing to me and mm -hmm. and so anyways and from that point on i uh stopped saying the name god and i stopped saying the name of the j man it's called, uh, you know, I, I, I guess it's a reverence for Yahuwah. So that's that's basically is how I begin my my uh, belief. And and I think either that year was 2008 or 2009. It was right around that. 
um, I had told my wife before was 2009, but now that I really think about it, I remember that what year was the year that Obama first went into office? I think it was 2008. That was about the time. Yeah. I remember that all of that was going on where he was going to go into office. That was about the time that that all of this was taking place. Mm -hmm. and, and I stayed there in Alabama another two, three years, two, two and a half years, somewhere like that. Then I left. I left from there, and um, and uh, but by this time, my wife and I had been had been talking, and we never met before. That what was what about we talked? Two thousand eleven. Two thousand eleven. Two thousand twelve. Yeah. Right. You started, guys. You guys met through a a Yaspace type yeah, of uh, Hebraic form. Hebraic yeah, fellowship. Hebraic right. Fellowship, fellowship form, finder like. Yeah. No. But I wouldn't even say we weren't even really looking. I think it was just for fellowship because we it was still new and it right. was just kind of meeting other believers because you do feel really you feel a little alone. You're sharing with your family. You're happy that you've come into this truth about the name and they're like, what? And everybody thinks you've gone kooky. Like literally, that's what I heard. Like, oh, wow, you went and went cuckoo. <laughs> Some friends, you know, were like, what? And then but now my family. They, they kind of respect, mm. like, wow, you've been believing for a while. You really have this strong belief. But, yeah, so when we met, we both were, that was tough because we were of like mind at that right. point. I had been single uh, seven uh, years, wasn't looking. You were, he right. wasn't looking. I, well, I, I, had, I, had a, yeah. I had come into the name. I just want to say this. I'm sorry, mm. hon. No, I had just come into the name, and, 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 um, and I had been in the name for a couple of years, and so then... So then I, I was totally dedicated to, to doing, I wanted to do whatever the Father wanted me to do. You know, and, and before this, instead of uh, doing worldly things, because I, ha I, had, I had came out of, out of Catholicism and into Christianity, and the whole time that I was in Christianity, I knew that there was more than what, what I guess, I think all believers feel that, that there's more than what to we're it, being. More to it than what we're doing. Right. And you want more. Yeah, you want more. Time. So, so uh, I really wanted to be Kadosh, you know, which at that yeah. time I thought was H O L Y. But, anyways, I really wanted to become Kadosh. So, I was totally dedicated to, to uh, at this point, I was moving back to Texas. I went ahead and I moved back to Texas. And I was there at, with my daughter. I was living with my daughter and my son in law with the grandchildren. I saw my grandson be born. And and uh, and and so this was my second grandson, and my third one was was uh, was not even on the way yet. By that time, my wife and I were married. But um, I was of the mindset that I was just going to serve Yahuwah. I was not looking for a wife. I was looking to have a better relationship with the Father. And what came out of that was this. Excuse me. What came out of that was in the midst of doing that. One day, the Father said. You need a wife, you know, uh, you know, because uh, you, you, you see, I was I wasn't planning on that. I was not planning on getting married. I I just wanted to raise my grandchildren to be there with them, you know, and, and and to stay in San Antonio. But the father said, you know, you need a wife. It's it's scriptural. You have to have a wife. So, anyways, and and at this point, um, I had gotten on on um, I had gotten on on that. You what was that? The Hebraic thing, yes, the Hebraic, yeah, yeah, space. Yeah. The Hebraic site, and and I was going to shut off. I my, was going to shut it off too. Yeah, I was going to. We laughed about that. We were both at the point like, ah. Oh. Yeah, we were both. We had both <laughs> got on. I think I got on, and then I saw her get on. Yeah, and then you said Shabbat Shalom, and yeah. then we chatted for a little bit, and I was like, hi, yeah. And then we both got off, and then I was like, oh, I'm just going to get off. I got other things. At that point, yeah. I was doing a lot of other oh, research oh, on other stuff too, and we I was closed like, down our accounts, didn't we? We were about I, to, and then we. We started talking, and I was like, you know, I was about to shut down this account, and you said I was too. Yeah. And then at, from that point, we started talking. And right. Yeah. Then, <laughs> then, then we started talking, and 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 um, so um, and one thing led to another, and we continued talking for how long did we talk for like that back and forth? Uh, three months. Yeah. And then we were talking about the feast and a lot of things we were researching. And then we just right. realized, but oh, we had already we like, known each other. We had already, but we had already met each other through the, yeah, through that. Yeah, for three months we just right. communicated that yeah, way. Yeah, but before, it had, uh, when we first talked was a long time ago. 
The whole thing took about a year. But the father told me, I am going to require him to come to get you, to come to I you. remember that. Yes, and I, I, the father told me, I am requiring it of him. And he must make this decision, and he must do this. He is the one, because I had told the father, I want someone who will call on your name, who wants to know your truth, and who will walk in your ways. And right. he said, it, he is the one, but he must come. He and, said, I got this, the perfect and you, man and for you. So, <laughs> Let me go get him. And so <laughs> the, we had planned on it a couple, we had planned a couple of times, and he was coming, and then something would happen with his vehicle. And I would be yeah. like, are you sure this is the one, you Yahuwah? Yeah. Like, <laughs> he's saying, I, but, you know, he's saying his car, there's something with the car, but at that time it was really raining heavy in San Antonio, and you had, like, yeah, the, the moisture that, in that, your truck. It was little, like, the, the, anyways, <laughs> the there was this truck. stuff that, w that kept stopping me from going but, but I went yeah. I went even though it was it, even though even even to the last minute I had to dry out my distributor it, there's some <laughs> stuff out Florida, yeah California. yeah but I but I, I, I'm, I'm a mechanic yeah, you know I, you know so so I'll, I'll jump in the vehicle if, and I'll I, I'll know if it's gonna run or not you know and I know exactly what's wrong with it so I was like I, I left anyways even though the he it, came, it, he we, came it was, in <laughs> right but but here's the deal is that 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 I, I had to do several things like she's saying because I, I first of all I had to find a job. I oh, I, yeah. I I had to go to California. I had to find a job. I found uh, I did everything in in Muna. I didn't I didn't and I never hesitate. You know if, it, if the father's speaking to me, I'm in prayer and the father's speaking to me. I act on it. I don't I don't uh, I don't um, hesitate. Yeah, I don't hesitate. I don't have no. I don't hold back. So as soon as I found out that you know that this is what the father wanted me to do I left and on the way over there as a matter of fact I didn't even have a job when I when I took off over there I had to stop in Arizona to get take a, a, a you had to take a a drug screen in order to get the job when I got to California so so I, I knew the job was waiting for me but there are several things that had to happen I got there I had to drive to work and back every day for an hour and a half from Banning, California, to Palm to Palmdale, to up there in the in, in, in the in the high desert, right. had to drive back and forth every day. Court my, my you had to meet the panel of my friends. Right, <laughs> court my wife, find yeah. a place to stay, get us a home, a yeah. plan for a wedding. I mean, there was a lot, was a lot of lot stuff that I had to do in just a few, uh, you know, yeah. with with limited time. So anyways, but every, you, you know, the father, when the father is leading you with, you know, nothing's impossible. All things are possible. So we wanted to. Um, so that was 2000 and May 2012. We got married and right. we feel like we've been married forever. So right. and yet we, I understand that because uh, I was there as a witness that you got married under the ketubah. We did. Right. Yep. You had a ketubah agreement marriage and the yep. father honored it. And it was very, a uh, very, uh, Baruch uh, wedding it was it was a very tearful wedding because we were so um, we were very uh, sister Kimmy is like family to us you know we've known her for a few years and, and uh, we growing in the true name together and we were very uh, excited she had a helpmate the father finally mm -hmm. brought a helpmate into her high yeah. and she wasn't looking either she was just I thought I was going to go to Israel. <laughs> yeah, I, to I was go. ready to go to Israel, but yeah, the father's like, no, not this is not the time. Right, yeah, right. I really thought I was going to go oh. with them, but one other thing I want to share though is in in that search, like, so I've been drawn to the Hebraic understanding. Uh, one of the things is, so I was like searching for anything, so I'm like, oh, I want to do the feast. You know, someone had given me fossilized customs. There were like a lot of things and I was like I want to who can I fellowship with so I went to a lot of messianic congregations here in Dallas and so but I was so disturbed and so bothered because I don't know if that's where you are but when you have the name and then you're thinking oh you're going to the messianic congregations but then you walk in and it's like they're using the other names and right, you're like the oh my. they're like you're doing the, the feast you have you're like yeah. doing you're supposed to be doing the jewish way and you so because you're so hungry for the hebraic but then so it didn't i was so disappointed like wow where can i go like who's doing the shabbat who's calling on the true names and then i realized wow this is really a set apart remnant 
that it's not even the messianic group it's it's no. it's just loving the creator loving the scriptures wanting to live in the way of yahushua hamashiach and it's very different it's very uh, different and, and the people as you see on the screen this is the example that my sister is sharing the strongholds of all forms of denomination right. that actually tie us up they try to say that 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 torah is uh, a bondage but actually torah frees us from the bondage of denomination and we didn't realize it as i show you in the screen right now that uh this matter of fact um like uh, i share with people at times share a little input there that when they say oh you're following the big 10 now you're under the ten commandments and i said yeah they don't realize like the baptists alone have over like two two thousand for the bylaws by the baptist convention 4,000 to be a pastoral staff or leadership. The assemblies of GOD is the same. Right. Thousands of bylaws for depending on what level of association you're going to be a part of evangelism. Yeah, and they, they tell you, and I was in that, so I just want to say, they, they tell you sign here, sign this, sign that, saying that you'll do this and that you you agree to this type of teaching and you agree, you know, because they put out their pamphlet every 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 sun worship day which is on the sunday they put out the in in the assemblies of god or in the church of god they put out a pamphlet telling us exactly what i'm going to minister to the youth and what the pastor is going to minister to the congregation so right. everything's set up and you have to do you have to go by their guidelines so and it's you're called under, by yeah by you're the under law. their law. By the under, law right right exactly <laughs> it's sad and right. we, we become in bondage to those uh, those particular rituals and now you got the ketubah you got the father brought you together you got the name of the father you got the name of the son you got both of you got a brand new relationship and the father setting your feet on solid ground of torah and then where did you go from there um kind of a wilderness or where did you go from there yeah he separated us because he ended up taking um we came back to san antonio for a little while and then but then he got a contract in montana right and so we were not long well we kind of went through the fire for 40 days after we were married even literally a literal right. 40 days before we had like a, a major breakthrough um the father just came through real big but what he was trying to get us to make that transition right. and just to get us alone because when we went to montana you took the contract in Mon montana and if it, it we got into the word together we right. got into the word together and I just believe and the made father us to knew grow we, a lot. Yeah. You know, because it, you guys we, are snowed in up right. there half the time, huh? Yeah. <laughs> we we um we've noticed that every time that the father that he has us uh that he wants our full attention, he literally right. separates us yeah. from everything else and mostly everybody else and, and um and then we grow a lot together. Mm -hmm. It's Excuse like bonded me. we really we bonded. Learn. Right. Right. Learning we learn and we grow word. a lot together. Okay, so uh, I guess the father just kind of separated us for a while, and 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 we um, and we stayed in Montana for the, for a while. But the father has really made us to grow together, mm -hmm. and not not only in the time that we went to Montana, but there was a time, there was another time before that when we were in New Braunfels, mm -hmm. and kind of separated from everybody else too. And anyways, um, I think we, yeah, we're realizing just how set apart, different right. you feel, you, and to be able to relate to other people that later would say, "Gosh, yeah, I feel like I didn't really have anybody to fellowship with," or but it's like hang in there because the right. father's with you, even though it may feel like a wilderness, like you're alone, like who else believes like us? But there are, there are many, many others who believe like us. There, right. That and, remnant is out there, and the father will connect you with them. So. Like we just, we've been doing Pesach and uh, we had Pes for the past several years, but like we just did Pesach yesterday and we just keep meeting more and more believers and it's very encouraging well, and, and hearing their stories. How did your family take you, your marriage and the ketubah, uh, it wasn't in the surf scene of course, yeah. how did your family take your emunah of your new, your new walk in Yahuwah and Torah and Torah? Well, I'm going to say like a, a lot of other people, 
give the same kind of the same testimony as they wonder hey uh are you believing like a muslim faith or or uh, excuse me uh you know a muslim a muslim belief right excuse me for using that word f-a-i-t-h but anyways so that's um basically what my what my family thought at first but you know and then i explained to them what it was that i believed in but um anyways uh, you know, there, it's like anything. Okay, so I came from, for, for me, I just want to say for me real quick. First of all, whenever, I, I want to just say this real quick. When, 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 I went in, when I came into the name, I was very disappointed, like my wife says, because I, I was really uh, jealous for the, or for the, war, the name of Yahuwah. Zealous. Uh, jealous, yeah. okay. I was for the name of Yahuwah. And then I, I go to these... Uh, messianic places and people are saying the lord and praise the lord and all that and it's just really oh i couldn't stand it my ears were like no 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 you know what's going on here oh and then we got to follow what big brother judah says and and all this kind of stuff you know and and we, but you know what i came out of a religion called catholicism and when i see rabbinical judaism i see catholicism i see the like same thing. thing. I see the right, right. I see. I see the little the little books that you open up and you say the Apostles' Creed and you read this certain thing on this certain day. They know what they're going to read next year at this uh, at this Shabbat. Just like the Catholic, they know what they know the exact scripture that's going to be read in a year from now on that Sunday. It's the same thing, yeah. you know. So and and. And then, so I'm like, man, you know, really, you want to, you want to, you, you know, you want to go after that? And you just came into the name. I, I don't understand that part. That part really, I don't understand how people can, can come into this belief and not have the name. In order, in order for me to come into this belief, I had to take hold of the name <clears throat> and the Shabbat. These are yeah. witnesses. These are these are witnesses that you're in covenant with the Creator, you know. And then to just to just to throw His name on the ground and stomp on it. Oh well, I'll just go ahead and call Him the Lord. It's okay. I mean, you know, this uh, it really. That's how I feel about that. But I, I just want to say that now. What were we going to talk about? Now, it's you, sister. How did your family, being Seven Day Adventists, take well, you going to deeper into the Hebrew understanding? No, my father was fine because it was like, oh, the Shabbat, you're doing the Shabbat. He was thrilled because he is a Seventh-day Adventist. But like the feast, but he was very understanding because my father likes to research. So he didn't shut us down. He listened and said, oh, Elohim. And so he listened and he was respectful. And for the most part, my family was like respectful, like, oh, okay. They're more like, okay, let's watch and just see what happens. So it's been several years now, and they're like, wow, you're strong in your faith. You still have your beliefs. So they just kind of respect it. But, yeah, initially it was like ketubah, like Jewish, like ketubah. Is, are you really married? Are you really married? And so it's explaining, yes, <laughs> the union is between my husband, me, and it's Yahuwah. We're, um, it's, it's a union we're coming into, covenanted by we're coming Yahuwah, into agreement. Right. Not, it, by, not by the state. And so, right. um, but, yeah, so... Now that time has passed, but yeah, initially it's like, what, what, like, you know, and then, and like I said, I had a few friends who were just like, that just sounds so kooky, <laughs> but you know, in time, you know, the, you know, for the audience, solid. I want to put input and let them know if you were to go to Jerusalem and, and you say you're married in some state in the United States. You're not, your marriage is not considered legal in Israel unless it's under ketubah, right. unless it's done with the Torah, the Torah, mm -hmm. the ten word covenant agreement, it, it, as the third chord of your marriage covenant. Right. And, and it's amazing how in this country they think, and it's only been a hundred and something years, the marriage certificate. That's it's right. not very old at all. Ever. It, mm -hmm. Christians forgot that the marriage certificate was in their Bibles. The family tree and marriage certificates were in those Bibles, and it was good as gold. You could take it to the bank, you know, that marriage right. certificate. But that's 100 years later, it's a loss. And now they really think that the third court of the government is the supreme today. And so your, 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 your father took it okay, your other family. 
Yeah, they, I mean, they didn't understand it fully, but I have to say, I didn't, he probably had more coming out of the Catholic background. Uh, it's a little bit more tougher where it's like, yeah, we're, they want to ostracize you, but I didn't really feel that my family wanted to ostracize me. They just didn't really understand it. And if anything, I probably had a few friends previously from the Cersei church that were like oh I heard you got married that were just like oh you yeah, that's cookie like <laughs> you know they they just don't get it yeah, yeah. <laughs> praise y'all and so now you came to from Montana to back to Texas and both right. of you had root, roots in Texas in the history of the yeah, past so all oh, right mm -hmm. yeah right so yeah we came back here and and uh well, we're here now, you know, yeah. and the Father again is is making us to to um, grow and 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 of course you hear ministry work with Father. Yeah, I'm, and I'm, I'm work. I have a book that I'm working to get finished and on the uh -huh. name and I don't know. That's you know, like what you were saying. The important thing to us was like speaking the name, honoring the feast, you know, the Shabbat, just being in covenant oh. with the Creator. And we're thankful to be here now with other like-minded believers and to have a place of fellowship because having been alone and isolated for a while, so now being able to actually fellowship with other believers is like, is really tope. I just want to say something. To share more. Excuse me. Excuse me. I just want to say something for people that are out there. You know, it seems like, like, um, I'm always hearing about people that come into the name and then that, um, that you know, uh, that they're looking for a way to do the Shabbat, looking for a way to keep the feast, you know, correctly. What is the right way? You know, so then we tend to, to gravitate towards man that's already been doing it, other men that have been doing it, and to see what, you know, to see what, how they do the Shabbat. Or how they keep the Passover, or how have how they keep the unleavened bread, and and all these other different um, feasts. But I have found out that if you inquire of Yahuwah, and if you go to the Father instead of going to man, He will give you understanding, mm -hmm. because it doesn't matter how many times you talk to a man and ask somebody how to do it every one of those men are going to tell you to do it a different way mm -hmm. including myself excuse me including brother and all of us we all have different thoughts but what you need to do is inquire of the father and that's what's so special you know because this type of relationship is it's a walk of life when it's, there's no religion right in there's the way. no it's the, just personal you, you walk open up the Torah Christ. and you read what it says it says that on the on the 14th day at evening that you're gonna is the Pesah is the Passover to Yahuwah and you're going to uh, have lamb with on 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 unleavened bread with bitter herbs it's that simple and you're gonna remember that day it's gonna be a remembrance and and you're gonna it's gonna be remembrance throughout all of your generations and, and when your children ask you, why, what is the significance of this? The significance of this is that Yahuwah is leading us out of our bondage. Even like today, we are, when we came into the name, we are being, and um, we came into the Shabbat, we're being led out of our bondage of religion, bondage of the world, and coming into mm -hmm. the truth, the truth of the name, the truth of the, of the Shabbat, the truth of the feast, mm -hmm. you know, all, all these things are are um, are uh, are between you and the Creator, not between you and another man and another what another man thinks and the Creator. But you are the the high Kohanim, you are the high pri you are the priest of your home, and then we have the 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 Kohen Hagadol, which is the great, you know, we we have a a, a, a um, an advocate we have an advocate we have Hamashiach as as our advocate but but each man in his home is is, is to perform the Pesah the way that the father wants you to do it not the way that the, that man wants you to do it yeah. right. and even in this journey you know the circumcision of the heart and walking with Yahuwah I mean and there is a process when you come into the name and all of this you're constantly he's maturing us 
he's maturing us, wanting us to work out our salvation daily. So right. it's it's a work, but the Father is so trustworthy. And what you said about the personal relationship with the Creator, ask Him, seek Him, because He will give you the answers. Because I know everyone can look back in their childhood and throughout their journey and probably see even before where you knew that the Father was with you, where He had protected you and kept you, even until this point where we are now, which hallelujah, but it's like Sister Veronica was sharing her testimony earlier, and I was thinking back, thinking back on the past situations of a lot of situations where I should be dead. Right, but if the enemy had you. had his way even back then, I should be dead. But right. even as a child, I can remember I had a love in my heart for the Creator, even you know, uh, whether Baptist or Seventh Day Adventist. I, right. I remember as a child having a love. Right for the creator and the one thing about my father he believed we had worship in our home and keeping the shabbat so it's like train up a child in the way that he should go so eventually even just that seed of the shabbat stayed with me but that's a and i God, knew hun. it that, is and even it really yeah is because at least at had least something her, that was a her little family seed. was doing a form of of, my father, of, yeah. of righteousness which was which is the shabbat yeah. you know and we 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 weren't doing you know, we, we came out of straight out of bondage, you know, but I mean, to have been to have been doing the Shabbat. Yeah. Wow. I wish I would have been doing that. You know, I remember when I was a, a, a child, when I was a young man, I wasn't a child. I was a young man and, and growing up in my mother's house. I was 14 years old at 14 years old. Back in my time at 14 years old, and I heard brother talking about it earlier. You were considered uh, a, 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 almost a young man. At 14, at 15 years old, I was driving. At, at, at 16, 17 years old, I was driving all the way to Houston and back from San Antonio. Uh, um, 18 years old, I drove all the way to California. You know, I, uh, anyways, found the book. I found the Bible in the house. See, because uh, in our family, I like saying this story, but in our family, you know, we, we, there was no Bible in the house. There was one big Bible like this, and it, it was called La, 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 este, La Biblia. Sagrada or something like that and my mom kept it in this in 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 one of the the, the drawers there in in the living room under her coffee table and it was this big old thing like this huge you know and you take it out and it had these these real extravagant pictures in there hey look at the picture you know but and it had a few words but anyways somebody left a little bible and i remember opening it up and i took it to the room you know and i read it and it says now i'm gonna say how it said yeah it, 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 it said it says it says to all of those who believe in his name he has given them the power to become the sons of god and so i was like wow i have the power he's given me the power if i believe in his name to become the sons of god and i really believed it you know what brother maybe that was a catalyst for for later on but i really believed that and, and i was so excited when i read it I was like, wow, this is great. This is great. We're the sons of God. We're, this is great. So I ran and I told my mom, I said, look, mom, look at what it says right here. It says that if we believe in his name, we have the power. He's given us the power to become the sons of God. And she said, give me that book. That's how come the <laughs> priest is supposed to read this to us, not you. So, but you know, the mindset, the bondage. We're all hungry and excited. Right, yeah, the but, bondage yeah. of, the, of the, the mindset. Yeah. What, what, you know, the first thing that she said was, that's why the priest is supposed to read these things to us but and not us, you know, and I'm sorry. <laughs> that, no, it reminds me of that scripture though that says having a form of godliness and denying the power thereof. So that reminds me in the Circe church. I would be thinking that on the flip side oh, <laughs> that yeah. here I am in the Circe church and I'm seeing the people, the all the big ministers coming up at the top of the pulpit and I'm like, where's the real power but the power really is in the name right. using the name is where you get right. lasting healing lasting right. deliverance the name. yeah the name all of those yeah. who believe so, in the name it, the he name does, the really power, is important right, right. You, and you, power is in yahuwah but it really is through his name you know when we first came into the name into the that uh, uh and started you know a lot of people that would ask me and my wife are, are y'all what would they ask us about the name are y'all Oh, y'all something of the name. What was that following uh, that they had? Uh, what was that movement? 
Uh, oh. uh, sacred name movement. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh. They, were, uh, they would ask us if we're I'm sacred like, name movement. Like, we're like, like, we're not sacred. The, we we're, just, what is sacred uh, name movement? What what is it's that? like, have you yeah. researched his name? Yeah. Do you know when the letter J came about? Like, have you really just taken the time to research it? Do you know what hallelujah means? And so you walk them through all of those but things. We have and they're never, like, well, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter what I call him, you know. And right. it's like, yeah, it does. He but has we have a name. never we had have anything to do with them. None of us here no, that I know of has no, anything we I didn't know to do I with, I didn't with know the, about the sacred, sacred name, name movement. movement. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's a That's a, that was a group that it's not all that bad either. They're not right. all that bad. It's that it's, it's just another in the box label mm -hmm. that a right. Christianity puts on people. Yeah. And of course, a sacred is a Latin Catholic word. We don't right. follow it's real like Hebrew yeah. Israelites don't even use that word sa right. sacred. Yeah. We use Kodesh or, or uh, Zadik yeah, or Kodeshim, right. yeah. you know. And uh, but that is a uh, there yeah. is a movement out there, and they put us in a box. Yeah, I so, wanted to show the scripture real quick. All right, um, from it is Mark nine, Marcos nine. Uh, 938 and it says and Johanan said to him teacher we saw someone who does not follow us casting out demons in your name and we forbade him because he does not follow us and Yahushua said do not forbid him for no one who works a miracle in my name is re able to readily speak evil of me and, and, so yeah. that's the power in the name that Yahushua even said that even though they're not walking here right with us, don't forbid them. They're doing it in my name. So how can they readily be speaking evil against right. me? The, 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 so I felt led to, sh I felt led right. to share that. Yeah. 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 That, that's so powerful. Yeah, I felt that's how to powerful share that. the yeah. name is. So we need to be Dude. careful when dealing with other brothers and sisters too, who we wonder like, are they? But if they're using his name and they're believing in him, don't be quick to judge another because Yahushua said they can't do it. it. They're dangerous. using my name, not your name. Yeah, so just yeah. yeah, pray for each other. Yeah. Yeah. Well, praise Yah. It's been wonderful yeah. to, to be able to have Kim uh, Yah here with you, brother, and uh, everybody knows who you are on this uh, channel. And, and, and sister, you, you, you have a website, don't you? No, it's I'm working on it no back at, yeah, yeah, I need to get it back up and going, okay, but I'm going to share and I'm actually, I'm thinking about working on another book, um, kind of just sharing more of my, not testimony, but the witness of some of the things I didn't really go into Wasn't detail the about. The name, the name of your, well, it's going to, well, witness of the covenant was right. The, right. Well, well, witness no, of the covenant was his website, is, is my, but mine was live for Elohim, but I'm right. going to make some changes to it. And then we had Woodsgate Media. Yeah, but Woodsgate Media yeah, also. We're going to kind of revamp some things. But, right. Um, we're going we're gonna to move stuff around. We're going to keep the names the same, and 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 but we're going to move stuff around. Yeah. So Praise so. Yah. Yeah. Well, this has been wonderful. Now, you you know, you encourage the people I know that saw this testimony. This is a great uh, testimony of a couple, uh, and we should do another one on the Ketuba alone. Because right. that is a, yeah. if we put, if we post online the Ketuba marriage testimony, right. you you would get so many hits because people want to get a Ketuba marriage. Well, well brother, I, I just want to, you know, I mean, what you said earlier is right on because, you know, when, when I wrote, when I, I now, now I felt led to do the Ketuba and, and I, so I did the drawing, I made a picture, I, I mm -hmm. put the words and I felt led to, to put the words in there of Deuteronomy, <laughs> which is, uh, which is, uh, and put the words of, of the of, of the of the covenant on there and and um, and it just everything that we did we tried to mirror the um, the covenant of Yahuwah having with the Israelites right and and, and that's that's basically the the, the mm -hmm. ketubah Praise yeah you. so yeah. Yeah. And it's a good, it's, you know some people are against it but uh, I believe in it 100% because it's a part of the foundation of all the layers of foundation of the covenant yeah. with you uh, and we need to do a further testimony of that also but this has been very encouraging you got any last words of encouragement to newlyweds uh, people that are searching for a relationship and they feel 
uh, lonely because they don't have the relationship of Yahuwah. And, you know, we have friends that all they get is Christians hitting on them and trying to hook them up with the Christian Limingo. And, and, and they don't want none of that. They just want a follower of Yah, you know. What encouraging words you could give to the audience? For me, I would say the most important thing is your personal relationship with the Creator. Really focus on that. Pray about the mate that you want, but be willing to be patient, to wait on who Yahuwah has for you, because I didn't date. I was single for seven years. I had been previously married, and when my first marriage, I did it the way of the world. I did it the way of the world. I was working in a corporate job. I met this person who was like a well-known DJ in the city, and he ended up being a complete, literal, psychopath, sociopath. And that is a testimony in and of itself that I will probably share. That's the other book I want to write, but, but my, and my husband is, knows about that. But just wait for Yahuwah. Because if don't try and do it the way the world does it, don't want the things of the world, be patient. You're walking in Yahuwah, work on your relationship with him. Yahuwah will be trustworthy to bring that right person in your life. He'll bring that deliverance from everything from your past. If you feel like a failure, maybe you've been through a divorce, been through something else, no. Yahuwah knows exactly what you need. Right. Just be willing to wait for it and just stay in your walk with him strong. Well, if you if you seek, when he, brother was asking that, the, word, the words that came into my ruah is the scripture was seek first uh, Yahuwah and his righteousness and his yeah. righteousness and his okay. righteousness <laughs> and everything else will be yeah. added yeah. you know that it's if you put him if you put him first and everything Hallelujah. else is is Hallelujah. gonna fall in place, place. Yep. you can't go wrong that way mm -hmm. you know but if you put your wants or your needs yep. first and are not willing to put him first then uh, you're gonna have some trouble exactly that's A lot for of sure issues. and mm -hmm. I, I just want to say this also when, when we when we were in the in the world as 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 Cristianos or whatever you want to call it whatever you want to call it and when we took the oath of being with another person we really didn't even know what that was no. we had no idea what that was because you cannot take an oath with Yahuwah and backslide there's no such thing. Okay, when you come into the, when you come into covenant with the Father, you don't backslide. Yeah, you're you, you, you know because, uh, uh, in the house yeah, it's yeah. way different than 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 when when you took an oath uh, as a as when you went through the thing. Okay, well, um, uh, repeat after me and say these words and 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 you know that yes, I want the J man to come into my heart and all that. That's that. That's totally different. When you come into covenant with Yahuwah, it's like when we had Passover last night. You know, I just wanted people to understand what you're doing right now is you're making a covenant with the Father, okay? And 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 it's an everlasting covenant. And if you break that covenant, there's consequences, okay? You're not so. Anyways, I just wanted to put that out there. Praise you. Yeah. Praise so. you. Yeah. Well, yeah. thank you so much. We appreciate oh, yeah. you guys yeah. and love you. And thank you for uh, this is a great testimony. And I'm sure many will be edified and they'll be get some answers to their search and their journey for a relationship as well as their, their to be uh, Kodesh set apart in Yahuwah and Yahushua oh, yeah. as well. Praise you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah.